Hi, as you can see, I'm using Circuit Wizard and I've made a little counting circuit here. It's just for fun, it's just a demonstration. It's not a, going to be a full on tutorial, but if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Now, I've associated this push button here with the keyboard key A, so rather than clicking it, I can click it like that. You'll see that each time I click it increments, but if I just press A on the keyboard, I can go up. So three, four, five, six, and when I get up to nine, as you'd probably expect, bearing in mind it's binary coded decimal, the next number or next digit is going to be zero like that. Okay. Now, the reason it's doing uh, counting up at the moment is because I've got this pin, which is pin 10. I've got this one pulled up to a logic high. And if we take it low, in fact, let's go to the logic levels view. You'll see that's pulled to logic high. If I then close that switch there, then if I then take that pin, pin 10, to uh, a logic low or zero volts probably if i take it logic low then what happens then is we will have a down counter so four three two one like that i've got this switch as well in actual fact this switch really is a bit superfluous Sh shouldn't really have it here um, it would probably be better that you just pull this pin and let's see what pin number it is if you pull pin nine low all the time logic low all the time and i'll show you why now let's have a look at the in fact let's just stop this start it again and let's look at the logic level so if you're looking here now so we're all on zeros now remember q1 is the, the significant bit so on the next uh, increment it would be zero 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 one like that and then it'd be zero zero one zero because we're now counting two and then zero zero one one like that and then zero one zero zero and then you get the idea okay so we get up to uh, nine so that's one lot of eight and that's uh, one lot of one or one unit you can see them here actually it's probably easier to look on that side now as you would expect the next uh, if we're using binary coded decimal the next uh, uh, in the sequence will be all zeros which it is now let's just stop that and restart so we're now back on zeros now if i open that switch up so this is the um here is the binary mode i've left myself a note here so this one is either binary mode or decade mode well we're, if you take it to a logic high we're now in decade mode and let's have a look at these now so we're it's all zeros and then we go to uh zero zero one okay so that's um one and then one zero that's two and then one one that's three and then one zero zero that's four you get the idea one zero one that's five six seven so one 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 is seven uh, one zero 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 is eight of course one zero zero one is nine but then this is the problem now previously when we use binary code decimal you then want to go to zero 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 again because you want to go from nine to zero but if you are pulling uh, this input high, so you're in decade mode, the next in the sequence you'll see is an eight and a two. In other words, it's now 10. OK, so this is outputting uh, 10. Now, uh, there is a problem with that, of course, because this is a uh, BCD to seven segment decoder driver. And it doesn't support um, digits, or it's not going to usefully support digits anyway above above nine. Okay, so when we get to nine, we really need to reset to zero. This is a common anode display. So what that means is the current. Let's have a look at current view. The current is flowing into the anode here. Okay, the anode is uh, common to uh, all of the uh, all of the LEDs because each one of these is an LED and then so we're then sinking current into these outputs okay that sometimes confuses students because you think of an output where current must come out but it's not quite like that the output just represents a logic level of, of high or low now you can definitely have current go into the outputs okay now uh, looked at in a different way uh, I did this anodes all connected up together that's why they're called common anode whereas the cathodes that they are all separate they're not common together okay 